hybrid and multi-cloud governance are key for delivering IT resources nowadays, enabling users to consume those resources in a secure and optimized manner is becoming a challenge for most organizations. Hi, I'm Jose Gomez, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix. For the next few minutes, you will experience the simplicity of Nutanix Calm for addressing these challenges. This is Calm in Action. Here we have a typical organization environment with multiple cloud providers. Using enterprise multi-tenancy, we can create projects or tenants like HR, marketing, and IT, and integrate with your existing directory services. With projects, you get granular role-based access control, where you can use the built-in roles or create your own. If you are on your DevOps journey, your tenants may have their own operation teams. If you are not still there, you can still have an IT operation team supporting all the tenants in your organization. After configuring RBAC, you can start to allocate providers into the different tenants. Maybe some of those providers are shared across tenants. In other cases, some tenants may have their own cloud account. Projects are flexible and let you have granular control on entitlements. The last step is to control the usage of resources. For your on-prem infrastructure, you can set up quotas for CPU, memory, and disk, like shown in the HR tenant. Let's see with a demo how to implement this model. In Prism Central, click the menu, Services, Call. We have configured already several accounts, public cloud providers and on-prem as well as Kubernetes. For IHV, you can configure cost for your infrastructure as well. Let's create our first project or tenant. Click on Projects, Create Project. The first thing is the project name, HR. Later, a description, and finally, an Active Directory group to keep the role Project Admin, the Active Directory group HR Admins. Let's add additional users and groups. Click in Add User, Type your new Active Directory user or group and assign a role. Repeat this process with the different groups and users to set up your role-based access control. For this tenant, the operations is delivered by an internal team in the HR team. Once it's done from user groups and roles, let's add accounts. The first is an IHV cluster running on Europe. We select the network and now we allocate quotas with vCPUs, memory and disk resources. Let's add an additional cluster, IHV running on America. Select the network, but we don't set quotas for this provider. We add additional public cloud providers, AWS, and GCP. This project is ready to be used. Let's create a second tenant or project, the marketing project. Give a name, description, and the Active Directory group or user that will get the project admin role. Let's add again users and groups. Click on Add User, type your user or group, and assign a role. You can connect as well to other directory services. Let's finish creating the different users and groups. In this case, IT operations is going to be delivered by an horizontal team on IT. Once we have created the users and groups, let's add accounts to this tenant. For marketing, we have a dedicated AWS account that is only available for marketing. The marketing project is ready to be used as well. Finally, we will repeat the same process for the IT project or tenant. For this tenant, we select 
all the available providers, including Anthos on IHV, for Kubernetes clusters. Our projects are ready. Now we want to test the access to Con. We sign out as an admin user and let's connect now as a tenant user. For this example, we are using the admin user of the HR tenant. Provide the credentials. And as you can see, we have successfully connected to Nutanix Con. And we are able to see only the HR tenant with the accounts configured for this tenant or project. If you would like to try what you have seen today, in the video description you will find the link for Nutanix Test Drive. I'll see you in the next episode of Calm in Action.